So earlier as you were talking, you talked about two concepts that I want to kind of come back and focus on just a bit. You talked about the control plane and the data plane. What does that mean? Yeah, great question. So we talk about the data plane being the communication between your services, right? So you have service A call service B. That traffic goes through the data plane. By the data plane, we're really talking about this proxy. If you didn't have a proxy, if you're using history of search finagle, the data plane is the libraries that are managing that communication. The control plane is the set of services or APIs where we put all of the policy and configuration for that. And so what we think of in the control plane are things like service discovery, what IPs and ports are part of the service. We might think of things like routing rules. So when I see a request to this host, it's actually this other service instead. Things like timeouts policies and, and uh, success rate information, all, all of the policy information should be stored somewhere centrally. In Conduit, that's actually built into the Kubernetes API, and so we'll be storing those things in the Kubernetes itself. In Linkerd, we have a control plane as well, which is Namerd, which is a route management process where and does service discovery, and so you can use that to change the routing rules. But it's it's not as full featured or a, is API first as I think we want it to be. It was a much more incremental approach, and so I think we'll be much more API focused on Conduit. 